Welcome to another recap episode of Chernas Tech Talk. We are going to be covering episode 40 today. In this episode, the Chris's cover the upcoming release of Goldeye RC1 and what the differences are between it and the already released Goldeye Beta 1. We have some new features, some bug fixes, as well as a teaser for Half Moon 26.04 releasing in April. Let's jump right in. First new features. There is a new VM disk import feature, which is going to make everybody from Proxmox and any other hypervisor system very happy because it will allow us to import things like QCOW2 images, VDI, or a variety of other pre-made virtual machine disk images. This has been a big problem for TrueNAS up until now because it really hasn't played nice with any other virtual machine management ecosystem because you would have to do an extra external conversion using another piece of software to get your hard drive image into one that TrueNAS can read. The next feature that was added is ZFS rewrite for balancing. Before this, if you added a extension to your VDEV, so for example, if you had a RAID Z1 that was three disks and you added a single disk to it, you would need to use a third party script to rebalance all the data on the drives. And that has been completely eliminated. Now within TrueNAS, there is a rewrite in the OS itself so that you will no longer need third party scripts when adding new VDEVs. This also works for special VDEVs like cache drives and all the other types of special VDEVs that TrueNAS accommodates. So if you add any of these drives now, you no longer have to go out and run a third party script on your OS through the command line in order to rebalance your data across your pool. The last thing they covered was OpenZFS upgrades. A full 10 minutes was spent of this episode, which is only 24 minutes long, covering the ZFS changes. Now the ZFS changes are quite large. So I'm not gonna go ahead and read them for you because I'll be honest with you, some of them are over my head. This is the GitHub page for ZFS 2.3.4. You can see here the massive amount of changes that are in this list. So if you're a huge ZFS nerd, go ahead and check out each one of these bullet points if you want. The Chris has spent a bunch of time talking about them. So if you wanna hear them exposit a little bit on these, go ahead and watch the actual podcast starting at around the six minute mark. Lastly, we got an insight into Half Moon bringing in Mac OS OS Spotlight. If you're not familiar with Mac OS, you don't know what Spotlight is. It's basically the way they find files on the local hard drive. And previously, it did not work with files that were mounted into Mac OS from TrueNAS over a network share. Now it does. Once the files are indexed after you do your initial run, anything you search for in the Spotlight bar should be instantaneously visible to Mac users. So if you are a Mac OS user, the Chris's would love if you go out there and actually test this feature out for RC1 and see how responsive it is and give them some feedback on that. For anyone that wants to make a comment on the video, go ahead and comment directly beneath the video in YouTube or jump over to the TrueNAS form. Right now, there's no comments because this was a very technical episode, which didn't really cover a whole lot. But go ahead and post your questions or post some responses if you're testing out some of these new features, because they would love to hear some feedback from you guys so the community can go stronger. Thank you so much for watching this recap video. Like and subscribe to this channel. Leave us some comments below about things you want to see in the new upcoming version of TrueNAS, or maybe something you want taken away. If you want to have a very technical conversation with us, go ahead and jump on our Discord. And if you want to thank me personally, please buy me a coffee.